Hi, this is Jennifer. Welcome to Narc Shield, and I am apologizing for my last video. It cut off on me, and I just decided to upload it. But I wanted to do one video before I finished off the night, and it's about um, what I consider a codependent and narcissistic relationship to somewhat look like. It's a little bit of the dance, but in, in a much um, silently... I guess it would appear a nice way. When I was a little girl, my grandmother used to read a story to me called The Giving Tree, and I absolutely adored this book. I resonated so much with the tree that it just touched my heart in a way that I don't know how to express it to you. And this book for pretty much my entire life, um, meant a lot to me because I resonated so much with that tree and I would give this gift and I've given it to many of my friends and I've given it to family members and people who are having babies and I considered giving it this year to um, my grandson so I have a grandson and he was born and I considered giving it to him but I'm trying to make a change and I learned a lot about myself through this process and so I want to talk about this book a little bit and some people may not agree with me so this is just my perception and it has changed over the year and I wanted over the years and I wanted to share that with you so when I was a little girl I was like oh look at this beautiful friendship and how much the tree just loves that boy and it was just so beautiful to me how much the tree loved the boy because I felt so much like the tree and I had loved like that and I know that I do love like that and I have given and given and given and would give for anyone that I love so much and I would do it at the own detriment of myself and I didn't even recognize it for a very long time. It wasn't until much later I looked at the story a little different and it was when I was becoming aware of my codependency and aware that I had been in many narcissistic relationships because of the coping skills that I took on as a child. This story, if you don't know it, is about a tree who fell in love with a little boy who would come and play and play with the tree. So the tree and the boy became friends and the tree would give him branches to swing on and shade to read books under and play under and he could write on the tree and they were just friends and they spent time together when the little boy was little. And over time the boy would grow and he would still go back to the tree but it was a little less time because the little boy didn't really need the tree as much anymore. So the little boy would go and he would be with other people. And over time, when he would need something, he would come back to the tree, and the tree would be so happy, so happy, and wanted to give that little boy anything that he wanted. He just wanted the little boy to come back. And so he would give, and the little boy would leave, and the little boy would not come back for a really long time. And when the boy would come back, he would need something from the tree. And the tree, just so happy that the little boy was back, and loving that little boy so much would give. And then again, the little boy would leave and he would grow and he was a man and he would come back every now and again and he would need something from the tree. He wanted a boat and the tree gave him wood for the boat and he wanted a house for a family and the tree gave him all his limbs and you know, and the story goes on and on. And the man never, I mean, he came back, but it was a very, very long time. And the tree was sad and missed the little boy who the tree still saw as his little boy. And eventually the man was an old man and everyone was gone in his life and it was just him and he had no one else. And so he went back to the tree. And the tree was all too happy to see the boy and all the tree had left was a stump and the little boy, who was now an old man, took the stump and sat on it. 
This is a beautiful story of a tree loving, but when we think about it in codependent terms, the tree had to give to get back that love and validation from the boy. And the boy just took, and he took as he grew, he took, and he took, and he took, and he took even up until he was an old man. And yet the tree did it because the tree just wanted the boy to be there, to love him and to feel validated, or the tree, I'm saying him, but. And in a codependent relationship, we learn to give, to be validated. We seek to others for our validation and we give to hopefully keep that love. And if that love leaves us, we work harder and harder and harder, hoping to not lose them. And in the process, we are not learning who we are and we are losing ourselves the little bit that we do know. And it can be quite unhealthy. So as much as I love this story, and I probably will read this story to my new little family member, but I think I'm going to change the story up a little bit. And change the relationship to be a little more balanced between the boy and the tree. It's an interesting story, and it makes me wonder about the author uh, when he wrote this story. I believe his name is Shel Silverstein, and if I, or Silverstein, I don't know if I'm saying his name correctly or not. I, um, I wonder if he had ever had a narcissistic type relationship, and I wonder who he was in the story, if he was the tree or the boy. I have a feeling he was the tree, but I'm, I'm curious, and um, it's just different for me now, and everyone who knows me knows that the giving tree was such a huge part of my life. And I resonated so much with the tree, but I look at that story so differently now. And I'm glad. I feel like I'm finally growing into the woman I've always wanted to be. And so I can look at that story differently. And I can change things in my life. I'm very happy today. I have been through things, as many of us have been through things in our lifetimes. Many of us just have different stories. This just happens to be part of mine. And so I'm here to help others and hoping that somehow I can give them support because I know how hard it is to talk about it. I know how hard it is to explain. It's difficult for me now to explain. And that's why I try to find examples for people. So this story was a little softer than how sometimes emotional abusive relationships go, but the tree was very codependent in this story and enabled the boy to come back and take advantage. That's how I see it now. So I'm sorry to those who disagree with me. I do love the story. I just want to change it a little bit. It was my favorite story for moons. <laughs> Until next time, this is Jennifer. Take care. Good night.